time for what I think is our fifth uh, collaborative celebration of Brain Awareness Week. Each year, it seems we do something more interesting, more exciting. We've just had a fantastic talk by Zoe Kapula, an eminent French scientist who's carried out a number of different uh, studies on the bridging between art and neuroscience. This place is a special place with a long history of uh, mixing art and science and particularly I felt that the audience was particularly trained <laughs> by all your previous uh, intervention on this interaction between art and science and it was really an exceptional experience. We're having an interactive uh, activity today along with our, our wonderful um, Rebecca Ivans, uh, who's an artist and has been inspired some, has some of the work on deep brain stimulation and Parkinson's disease. And uh, she has brought some of her amazing work here at the museum today. I think the main inspiration uh, was watching a very moving video that Kristalina showed me of DBS, deep brain stimulation at work. And quite literally, the moment it was switched on, the tremor ceased immediately. And I saw it akin to a magician's box of tricks, hence the silk curtains and the suggestion of this dove inside the head and the title Dove of Peace. As Francis Bacon said, the artist is always looking to deepen the mystery. So I saw it as this fantastic sort of springboard for the imagination. And then looking at brain images was like an epiphany, opened up so much. So this is, we'll be trying to visualize the brains in the way you think when you solve this kind of exercise. So do you want to select the gargles first of all? So, as you can see, it's a very lovely pattern. So this is how your brain works. This is basically visualising how the different areas in your brain collaborate for you to solve this task. So in normal life, when you have to do your normal work, and you have to go shopping, you have to do your finances, you always have to filter out things that are not really necessary. Yeah? For example, here you've got a nice work of art, and in order to interpret that, you need to filter out things in the art piece that are not quite relevant to what you're trying to understand. What we're trying to do here is visualise this part, what we call inattention. And in certain disorders, for example in dementia or Parkinson's disease, this breaks down. Our study, the Oxford, so the Oxford Quantification of Parkinson's disease, is basically following people up in three monthly intervals so that we can see how this develops for them. It's important for museums and scientists to collaborate because the objects that we have here are so useful in understanding how it is we see things, how we perceive them, and what effects those perceptions have on our bodies. All in all, this is a tremendously exciting way for the museum to be engaged academically with the rest of the university. And this kind of academic engagement is precisely what uh, the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation originally envisaged when they funded this program. And we're grateful for their continuing support as we seek new ways of conducting academic engagement right across this great university. Thank you.